1996, we got a computer installed in our home. The machine ran Windows 95, and it was a wonderful time to be alive. Well, with all the cool games coming out for computers, you know that my PC library was chock full of cool games, like... Uh, Solitaire, and, uh, Minesweeper. Since it was an early Windows PC, though, it did come bundled with Explorapedia, the world of nature. It was part of the Windows Home collection of software, specifically the Microsoft Kids division, which included the Ultimate Haunted House, PJ's Reading Adventures, and the Magic School Bus series of games. Now, at a retail price of $50, my parents never bought me anything for the computer, but I did get to play Explorapedia while surfing on the Windows 95 startup disk for some demos of games that I wished we could have had, if only we were richer. The Explorapedia games came in two parts, the world of nature and the world of people. I never got to see the world of people, but I did spend hours in the world of nature, despite the fact that it's not even really a game. Having lost the disc a long time ago, I had to find a copy online, and then I had to figure out how to set up a game from 20 years ago on a modern computer. After some setbacks, I finally got the thing up and running. First of all, I do not remember Tad here being so... janky looking. Like, the animation and effects seemed super cool when I was a kid, but wow, this is not aged well at all. Oh yeah, uh, Tad here is our tour guide in the world of nature. He's a frog in a spacesuit because of... reasons. His voice sounds like a more soothing version of Invader Zim's voice. It's easy. If you get stuck or lost, just click on me. Pizza for human! Also, learn to enjoy the spaceship, because all of the fun interactive shit kids love to click on is centered here. All of the rest of the clickables lead to encyclopedia articles. Hell, even some of the clickable stuff leads to homework. Aside from the homework button, you can click this... Whatever the hell this is. Or this, or this, this opens up MS Paint, I guess. There's something of a game in here called Wisecrackers, which is essentially an encyclopedia scavenger hunt. Wisecrackers is the game, and cracking the quag is the aim. As for the biomes you can explore, you've got grassland, savanna, farms, rivers, and a bunch of other nature-related bullshit that I'm sure little kids love. I start off on the Coral Reef, which is an interesting choice because I actually hate the ocean. Nothing personal, you know, I just hate it, in general. Each one of these articles is narrated by the voice of some children, which is totally relatable to a five-year-old like myself. I like this kid because he's all sorts of squeaky. Plankton. Have you ever floated in an ocean or lake on a raft? Did you know that right beneath you, billions of tiny... Everything grows in time and in stages. Look closely and you'll see every organism, every cell. Some of these encyclopedia entries have animations or little activities. When you finish the activity, you're rewarded with this. <laughs> I love how little the game cares about your accomplishments. Instead of a fanfare, you get crickets like, hey, real impressive kid. I don't give a shit. Outside of the songs, though, this game is, like, quiet. Like, really, really quiet. Would some ambient music be too much to ask for? Skunks and badgers. I poked around a little and checked out what they had on tigers, panda bears, and whatever the hell this thing is. Uh oh, it's a weasel. The problem I keep running into is that now I read so much faster than the little shits reading out the articles, so I'll skim the information and cut them off. Except here when they give me a misinformation. The sun is a ball of gas. Ball of gas. Ball of gas. I blow. The sun is a miasma. 
of incandescent plasma The sun's not simply made out of gas No, no, no I decided after a while that I'd play wisecrackers. I bounced around a little bit until I realized the ship had a find feature, which essentially did the work for me. What do you want to find? Getting five correct rewards you with a prize, full of janky animation and stock sound effects. I could say that this would be fun for little kids, but I'm fairly certain that this is more disturbing than fun. You can also view videos from the slides of the ship, which, uh, oops, I guess my super advanced future video drivers aren't compatible with whatever the hell they were using in 1996. Oh, but this one works? Neat! At some point, I figured I'd check out the settings and discovered I could mute just about everything I wanted, including Tad. Do you want to keep hearing my voice? Yeah, yeah. But there wasn't a lot in the way of display settings, which is a shame because the actual size of the screen was this when I was playing. In the end, I guess that Explorapedia just hasn't aged well. Some of the information is out of date, the interactivity was pretty meh at best, and the songs they made are so painfully 90s. That said, I think that if you could track this down and get it to work on your computer, it wouldn't be too bad for little kids. I remember it being a decent resource to use in grade school. I even did a report on something back in first grade by printing out some of the slides and reporting on it in class. I think it's a shame that an updated version of this hasn't been released in an updated format or anything, because it's actually really great for little kids around the age of 5, just maybe not so much kids of 25. Describe human beings, what would you say? A miserable little pile of secrets! 